Hey what's up guys, today I'll be teaching you how to properly export your footage for Instagram, that being your story, posts, or anything like that. So let's get right into it, roll the intro. Welcome to another tutorial. So there is other videos online teaching you how to do this in Final Cut Pro, but something that is constantly overlooked and that I've had lots of trouble with myself is um, transitions and different parts of my videos getting messed up by their methods. So today I'll be teaching you how to keep everything in frame and get all the shots you want without screwing up your edit and just editing one thing and using it for all posts. So I've actually provided you guys with the crops for Instagram stories, vertical posts, and wide HD posts on Instagram. So make sure to go in the description and download that before we get into the tutorial. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Now that you've downloaded the base crop for Instagram in my description, open it up. Wait a second, I'll just open up. Inside this folder, we have the Instagram story crop, the Instagram HD crop, and the high quality wide crop. So to start off, I'm going to just teach you how to post in full HD and the full HD Instagram crop where the crop uses all of its screen and gives you the highest quality that Instagram can give you. So go ahead and import your footage. Mine is a one minute clip that I made for Instagram New Year's. As you can see, it doesn't fit all the way or it's not filling the whole entire image. And we are going to bring this up to 222%. And that will give you a full image of your video. After dropping and scaling it, you can see that some of the shots aren't perfectly centered or lined up. and a way to fix this is to keyframe your footage. So what you're going to do is press the scale button, keyframe, and go to the x-axis. What you're going to do is just scrub the footage and move your footage to whatever, wherever the shot is and make that center. So for example, I want Tristan, who's in frame, to be in the center. So I will drag this, and now he's central. And you just go to the next shots, and you go to the end of that clip, and it will put him in frame. After you finish all your keyframes, you can just play it back and sometimes you have to play around with it, but usually you get a central shot each time. You kind of want to play with it because sometimes it can snap back and forth and look a little weird, but generally you can get the best shot and everything in frame without messing up any transitions. So. Then you will export that and into a master file and just drop it to wherever. I'm gonna put it on my, on my hard drive. And yeah, so that's for an HD full screen Instacrop story or Instacrop post. Usually what I'll do for my Instagram posts, I will provide a story or kind of an advertisement as well. So what you want to do is click double click the Instagram story crop that I've provided in the download and then drop whatever footage you want to be shown in your uh, clip. So now that you have it in there, you're going to scale that up to 315%. And right now, as you can see, it's a little off and you can adjust it just as we did before if you want to, um, to keep your shots central. 
then you can add text on top of this to make it kind of unique and make it a little better than a normal Instagram story by including text. I'm using the glitch title plugin that I can put also in the link of the description and you just scale this to the size that you want. Robert Hill, new post, and then just adjust that by putting it down with the Y axis and changing whatever name you want. And so that's how you make a unique story post and you can keep everything you want in frame as well. The problem with Instagram story posts is that there's a 15 second time limit and if you want to include more than 15 seconds consecutively, I recommend this app. So this app called Cut Story is on the Apple App Store and it basically makes it so you can import your video after you've exported it and it will cut it into 15 second segments and automatically do it in phone and you can post them. So it's a really good good app, definitely suggest it. Um, it helps with any video if you want to have more than 15 seconds, so yeah. The great thing about these base projects is that you can keep coming back to them and putting importing footage really quickly and exporting it and you can really play around with say the story posts and you can scale down to fit whatever you want and you can have multiple video on one screen. So sometimes I'll put a before and after or something like that and I'll just include them and it looks really cool. For those of you who want to include almost the full, full frame of your shots, if there's a lot of good content in there, I recommend you using the wide Instagram's high quality crop that is provided in the download because it only crops a bit of footage and it's still, it's still decent quality on Instagram. And you can also scrub through it and change the x-axis like we did before if it's not lining up properly. But usually everything fits and that's how I posted this in the last video on my Instagram page. I use this base file project for almost all of my Instagram story posts and all of my posts for Instagram. It's super helpful. It increases your productivity by a lot. You don't have to keep going back and making these. So I hope you guys enjoyed the download. Please uh, leave a like, subscribe. I already said this before. I also have a video that might be coming out. Just let me know in the comments if you would like me to actually do this to change this clip right here into something like this. So yeah, just let me know in the comments if you think I should make that video and just let me know what you think. Make sure to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.